Hi, this is Natalie Van Ryden with today's Sports Review News reporting for sportsreview.com. Six Iowa casinos began taking sports bets at noon Thursday, with more casinos on deck awaiting approval by the Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission. Prairie Meadows, Isle Bettendorf, Lakeside Hotel and Casino and Isle Waterloo are offering both on-site and mobile betting. Catfish Bend and Ameristar Casino have on-site wagering only with mobile uh, becoming available to bettors in the days and weeks to come. Iowa is the 11th state in the nation to offer legal sports wagering and is the first in the Midwest. Indiana is poised to follow suit in early September, with Illinois still getting its ducks in a row with no firm timeline to begin taking wagers. Iowa officials met an ambitious timeline to have betting available just three months after Governor Kim Reynolds signed the measure into law. The last time days have been a flurry to finalize a number of controls and questions that were still outstanding, Iowa Racing and Gaming Administrator Brian Okuno told Radio Iowa. He said he expects the remaining casinos to be open in time for the start of the NFL season on September 5th. Uh, Betters in Iowa can wager on professional, college and international sporting events. Among the first betters at Prairie Meadows, uh, which launched betting with the William Hill Sportsbooks, uh, were state senators Jack Whitfer and Tony Biscano. Uh, Biscano, who wore a New York Yankees jersey to the ribbon cutting, uh, placed a bet on today's game against the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Whitford stayed local, pinking Iowa State over Iowa, who played on September 14th. Uh, Joe Asher, the CEO of William Hill, also was in attendance for the launch. He told the Des Moines Register that the Sportsbook was still in the process of getting its mobile app into the App Store. Um, Asher said he expects the app to be available on Android late Thursday or early tomorrow. Uh, the William Hill app for Apple should be available in two weeks. Uh, bettors will need to register to Casino before they can place a wager. Do read more on the SBR Newswire. I've been your host, Natalie Van Rydstrom, reporting for sportsbookreview.com.